Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.8 on the Verizon iPhone 4, as well as jailbreak and unlock by preserving your baseband on 4.3.3 on the iPhone 4 and 3GS. Now, this video does jailbreak 4.3.3, but I have a really easy Red Snow jailbreak video for that, and you can find it in this annotation up here. I really would recommend that video for just jailbreaking 4.3.3. The only main reasons you're watching this video is either you want to jailbreak your Verizon iPhone 4.2.8 or you want to preserve your baseband on an older firmware and unlock on 4.3.3. Or maybe Red Snow is just not working for you, but definitely click on the annotation because Red Snow is much easier. Yes, this version of Snow Reads does support boot logos and multitasking gestures on 4.3.3 and it's basically the Windows version of Ponage Tool for Mac which I'll be making a video of in just a little bit. Except Ponage Tool does not support the Verizon jailbreak like Snowbreeze does just yet. Okay, and a couple more things. So if you're looking to unlock, here's a list of the baseband's that are compatible and which ones can become compatible down here. Okay, so if you want to check your baseband, go into Settings, General, About, and scroll all the way down and there is your baseband right there. See, I have 5.16.02 right now, and as you can see, I can convert it to 6.15.00, which in turn will get me an unlock. Before we begin, make sure you have all of your data backed up in iTunes because we are restoring, which means all of your data will be deleted. So make sure you have all of it backed up. Okay, so I am on a Verizon iPhone 4, but I will be doing the jailbreak on my 3GS. And just to show you, I do have Cydia, and I am on 4.2.8. So this jailbreak is definitely possible. All right, so make sure you have your iPhone plugged in. Okay. And on your desktop, you'll need two things. You'll need Snowbreeze version 2.7.1. It's actually been updated just recently because there's a major bug I also encountered, and they fixed that. And you'll need your 4.3.3 official firmware, or 4.2.8 on the Verizon iPhone 4. All links can be found in the description down below, where a link to my site will take you to a written guide with all the links you need in there. So go ahead and right click on Snowbreeze, run as administrator, yes, OK, close credits, and next. So here we're going to browse for our firmware. Depending on which device we have, I have the 3GS, so 4.3.3. And since I have a 3GS, it's asking me if I have a newer old boot ROM so it can know if I can have custom boot logos or not. And if you don't know, ask for it to detect it for you, but I know. I have a new boot ROM. And click Next. Next, you're going to select Expert Mode. Next. General. Next. And here we get some options. So if you guys want multitasking gestures, you're going to want to select this option right here. And what that is, is the five finger pinch to exit out of an app, the four finger swipe to switch between the multitasking tray, and four finger swipe up to reveal the multitasking tray. And if you guys want that, select it. Okay, so Hacktivation. Basically, if you guys are on a non-legit carrier like T-Mobile or something you guys are unlocking, or maybe you guys aren't even on a carrier and you just want to be able to use your iPhone, you're going to want to select Activate the iPhone. If you guys are on AT&T and you select this, you guys will have no service. So make sure to keep it unchecked if you're on AT&T. Otherwise, select it to activate the iPhone. And if you want boot logos, select this as well. And next. And here is where you install the 6.15 baseband if you have these basebands down here which are convertible to 6.15.00. And I don't want that, but if you guys want to unlock, you can do that. Next, and build IPSW. Okay, so this will take about 10 to 15 minutes, so be patient and I'll be back. Okay, so once it's done, click OK and we're going to power off our iPhone. Okay, so once it's off, we're going to click Start. Okay, so go ahead and click Start. In five seconds, we're going to hold Power and Home together. So three, two, one, hold them together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the Power button and keep holding the Home button until Snowbreeze recognizes your iPhone in DFU mode. And basically, we're putting it into Pwn DFU mode so iTunes can restore it. It's running iReb, and it's done. Okay, so go ahead and click OK. Click
close out of Snowbreeze and open up iTunes. When you open up iTunes, you guys will get a little pop-up that lets you know that your iPhone is in recovery mode. Click OK to that and on your keyboard hold shift while left clicking restore and on your desktop you will see the Snowbreeze restore for your iPhone. Click on it, open it and click restore. So now give about 10 minutes and your iPhone will be restored and I'll be back. After your iPhone is finished restoring, go ahead and slide to unlock and on your springboard you should now see Cydia. Open it up and give it a few seconds to of course load and set up. But you guys are now untethered, jailbroken on 4.3.3 or of course 4.2.8 if you have the Verizon iPhone. Now to unlock you guys need to search for Ultra Snow and install it. Of course you guys must have the compatible baseband as shown there and you'll want to reboot your iPhone and once you're rebooted you will have service on 4.3.3. So thanks for watching this video guys, really appreciate it. Enjoy the jailbreak and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.